Hey guys, Fred Take Up here. So I made a video on how you can install Windows 11 on any Intel Mac a few months ago. And while that video was useful to a lot of people, I also got comments from people asking me to show them how they can update or upgrade their existing Windows 10 installation to Windows 11 on a Mac. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way of updating your existing Windows 10 installation on your Mac and bypass all the system requirements that is needed for Windows 11 like TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Alternatively, you can also use this very method to install Windows 11 on your Mac by installing Windows 10 first, then follow this method and upgrade to Windows 11, which I feel is a lot easier than modifying the Windows ISO as I showed in my previous video. Before we continue, this is going to require us to download just two files. The first one being Windows 11 ISO, which you can download directly from Microsoft and the second one being a modified media creation tool from GitHub that we're going to use to bypass all Windows 11 system requirements. All credit goes to the good guys at GitHub for making this very easy to bypass Windows 11 system requirements. Don't worry guys, I'm going to have links to all the necessary downloads in the description box below. So guys, as you can see here, this is my early 2020 MacBook Pro with T2 chip. So I believe if it works on this machine, it should work on all Intel Macs. However, one thing you should notice is that bypassing some security requirement might pose some risks like not having all the security updates from Microsoft and can also impact performance. So only do this if you really understand what you're doing and also at your own risks. Okay? So to begin, simply head over to GitHub, then click on get code, then click on download zip. Alright? Then once that is done, head over to Microsoft site. I'm going to have links in the description box below. Then now locate download Windows 11 Dix image. Then select Windows 11. You're going to select your preferred language. Then click on confirm. Windows 11 is only available in 64 bit, so just click on 64 bit download and your download begins. Yeah, so guys, so if we should launch our Windows 11 ISO file that we downloaded without actually applying the patch first, it's going to prompt us with this telling us that our PC doesn't meet the system requirement for Windows 11. As you can see here, it's saying this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. This PC must support TPM 2.0. And this is where the media creation tool comes in. So you have to head over to your download folder and then extract the media creation tool. In my case here, I've already extracted it. So I'll just go ahead and open the extracted folder and then select MCT folder and then double click on the skip TPM check on dynamic update version 2. If you see this Windows Defender smart screen, just click on more info, then click on run anyway. Wait for it to finish, then close everything and restart your Mac to apply the changes. Then try launching the Windows installer again and everything should go smoothly. During the checking for the update process, Microsoft wants you to check. Microsoft wants you to accept terms and conditions of installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So just click on Accept and then click on Next to proceed with the installation. Upgrading from Windows 10 will allow you to retain your existing files and apps. So just click on Install to begin the 
process. So guys, at this point, for this video not to be too long, I'm just going to fast forward the installation screen to the next step, okay? So that is it guys, as you can see we have Windows 11 running on our MacBook Pro. The next thing you should do is to head over to the Windows updates and check for updates. And as I said initially, you can also use this method to install Windows 11 on your Mac by installing Windows 10 first, then upgrade to Windows 11 later. It is much easier this way than modifying Windows ISO. So that is it from me guys, if you like this video, kindly give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content and thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in the very next one, bye bye.